Hello Magical Butterfly, welcome to the February 2024 energy reading. This is going to be what energy is coming in for the month of February 2024 or whenever you're watching this because this is intended to be timeless. This is going to be a collective reading, so I want you to sit back, relax, close your eyes if you feel guided to, allowing the messages to come forth as they're supposed to, as spirit intends, taking only what speaks directly to your soul and releasing what doesn't. First, I'm going to tap into the energy for February 2024. So what is the energy for the month of February 2024? What energy is this month bringing in? February is the month of love because we do celebrate Valentine's Day this month. So what is the energy for this month, please, and thank you. Okay, we have delight and desire. So this is a wedding cake. So this cake symbolizes love birds, if you see on top of the cake. So what I'm getting is that the energy of February is really fine-tuning the collective to be able to see exactly what is coming in love and perhaps who it's going to be with. So weddings symbolize commitment, a coming together, a marriage. So there's a sense in the air of the collective really getting a sense of what they want their future to look like when it comes to love. And that is clarified by Hitched. So this month, the collective Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine are really looking into their future to really gain a sense of what they are looking for in love, whether it is to be married or just to have that committed partner. There's a sense of wanting to manifest love. So what else can you tell us about this energy, please? So for a lot of you watching this video, party of one could symbolize you have been single for a very long time, or maybe you are deciding to walk away from a relationship or a connection that you just feel is not serving you anymore, and you have found peace or you're going to find peace in being single. And for those that have found peace in being single, your party of one is going to turn into party of two very quickly because there is someone on the horizon for you. So regardless of your love situation, the mind, be mine, possessiveness, meaning somebody wants to possess you, but in a healthy way, meaning somebody wants to make you there. Somebody wants to show you, I am the one for you. You are the one for me. Let's be the one for each other. Because the partnership card, the swan show me this is a d divine love relationship. So this could be a twin flame connection. This could be a soulmate connection, but don't get tied to a label, especially if you are a twin flame and you are separated from your, your, your twin flame. What Spirit's telling me is that you have a partner coming in that is very similar to the deep soul connection that you have. So if you are wanting to call in a deep soul connection regardless of the type of connection this card is confirming February is going to show you how to do that so by the summertime which is the months of June through September you should have this person in your life or you will meet this person in the summer but the summer is going to be very very specific now for s some of you this could confirm that you and this person, either one or both of you, have a birthday in the summer. In the months of June through September, it doesn't have to, but summer also represents the warmth, playfulness. Maybe um, I'm seeing the beach with this card, like Florida, California, even like the Bahamas, Aruba. Um, so or Hawaii is even coming through. So this could, this could symbolize something, those places, but spirits telling you, you know, it's coming, you sense it. You could be having visions, premonitions, dreams, but spirits telling you 
it's all up in the air on how it's going to come together, so don't try to guess. Instead, allow spirit to bring this love connection into full bloom. So what I'm feeling, because we are in the winter season right now in the Northern Hemisphere, plant the seeds in the winter, water them in the spring, and let them grow in the summer, because this is leading to your arrow of love. This is your Cupid. This is your divine love connection. This is your forever. So let's just see how this is making you feel. Because we want to make sure that you're feeling good, you're feeling positive, you're not having any fears or doubts coming through that could potentially cause you to block this or delay it from happening. Because you want to be able to stay in a positive and optimistic energy so you can manifest this physically in your 3D life. So how is this energy of true love, your, your forever, whatever you're calling it, the one is making you feel? So you are in the process of rewriting your story. So you have decided that you want a complete second chance, a complete do-over, a fresh new start. So you are writing your story. So rewriting your story means you are co-creating with spirit. You are also making sure that you are writing everything that you want to a point. You don't want to get too specific on, I'm going to meet this person on this day at this time. You're just telling spirit, I envision myself meeting this person. If you're having visions of this person, even though you may not know who they are, or maybe you do know who they are, but you've never physically met them in person. Spirit's telling me your, your dreams, your premonitions, your visions are giving you some insight because you know that this person is for you. You just feel it in your heart. So now you have to figure out how to manifest this, manifest this into the physical 3D world because you're realizing that where you were, the grass wasn't greener, but now you're going over to the other side where the grass is greener, it's beautiful, the sun is shining on it, and that means you're leveling up. And by you, leveling up means that you do some type of spiritual practice, whether you meditate or this person meditates, but you've committed to your inner work, and this inner work is telling you, guess what? You're bringing in this total connection, you're bringing in this like-minded person, this person that will bring you reassurance with intimacy, with love. This is somebody who's compatible with you. This is going to be a healthy relationship and a healthy connection. So you feel good when you think about it. So don't let your mind chatter, your ego, your fears, your doubt, or what has happened in the past with other people stop you from staying positive. Trust that you deserve love. Trust that it is safe for you to love and trust that it is all coming together. So let's just see what is coming up for you in the month of February. So this is just overall what is coming up for you. What is coming up for the viewer, for the collective in the month of February, please. Okay, so you could be going on vacation in the month of February, or you will start planning a vacation. So, or somebody is going to go on vacation and you're going to meet them, or they're planning on taking a vacation in the summer where the two of you are going to meet, just take it as it comes through for you. So you are no longer interested in people who are sour patch, that are hot and cold, that have mixed feelings that are off and on. You are just over, I'm hearing you're just over that shit because you don't want someone who makes you feel like you have to try so hard. You want something that is so easy. You honestly want someone who is loyal, who is trustworthy, who is reliable, who honors you, who is going to commit to you, who wants a commitment with you because you want something that just flows that's easy because you don't want to force anymore. You don't want to be with someone who sees you as an option. Instead, you want to be surprised 
by someone because you want to have something you've never experienced before. See, because you're asking spirit for a second chance. Perhaps you have asked spirit for a second chance or this is something that is just going to be given to you. So right now the spotlight is on you. So stay out of your pride and ego. Just trust that you believe that this is for you because the healing that you've done has brought you to this place. And now you are starting fresh. You are taking the steps forward. You are making over yourself, making over your life. You are transforming into the new. And now you are in deep reflection. You are just manifesting what it would feel like to get a love offer from someone who is a vibrational match for you, who is the one. So, let's get you some guidance. So I have three guidance decks that I intuitively chose. So the first guidance, we're going to just uh, get guidance for you on just being able to see the light on how you truly feel. So you can just get connected to what you know is right, what your heart is telling you, trusting your intuition and allowing that to be your guide. So seeing the light brings in abundance because spirit's telling you you've done the work. Abundance flows to you now because you're going to have somebody come in that has chemistry because this is an attraction that is going to be mutual. This is not going to be like an addiction. This is not going to be like anything you've experienced in the past because you have accepted your past for what it is. You have released it. You understand that everything happens for a reason and now you're looking for what's faded. You have a faded meeting, a faded connection on the horizon for you because you see the bigger picture and you see that you are deserving, you're worthy, and because you love yourself, you are going to bring in someone who's going to love you because you don't need someone to fill that cup, to fill that void, to make you feel complete. You can do that for yourself all on your own. So let's just get guidance just general love guidance with the last two decks that I have for guidance. So additional love guidance, please, for the viewer, for the collective. Thank you so much. So it's going to feel like lightning strikes. You're going to just be hit with the love arrow by Cupid. The dragonfly shows me because you have transformed. You are in a different place. You are no longer going to be the chaser. This person is going to chase you, but in a healthy way, they're going to pursue you. You are not going to have to worry about somebody being self-indulgent or just wanting what they want and then running away because that is no longer a vibrational match to you. You have learned from that heartbreak and what that is bringing you going forward is you becoming the Phoenix. That's why you've transformed. You are rising. You have said goodbye. You have let go of the ending. And now you are looking for the beginning. And the beginning is bringing you somebody that you have strong chemistry with that will seduce you in every single way possible. Not just physically, but intimacy is so much more than physical. It is mental. It is emotional. It is spiritual. And let's get some guidance messages, please from the romance angels for the viewer for the collective on just what you would like them to know guidance messages please so religious factors you your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so you have merged your religion your religious upbringing and your spiritual path you have morphed it into something very beautiful that is going to be accepted by this person you know now it is safe for you to love, so you just need to open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This person who is coming in is someone you have a past life connection with. You have known each other before, and that's why you two are going to be drawn to each other. You deserve love because you are lovable. And this is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So open your heart, listen to your heart, and just become love. 
So let's just take a quick glimpse into what could happen in the month of February. So this is very similar to possible future energy. Possible future energy is just that. It's possible future energy. It is what could happen, what may happen. But energy changes daily and it does depend on the free will decisions that both you and this person make. So we have the Ace of Hearts offering. So what I feel is that you are going to tie yourself in with this love offer. This is the Ace of Cups. So you are giving yourself the cup of love this month, which is in turn going to put out to the universe. You are ready for the cup of love with this other person. So Youth of Flame shows me that this person could be younger than you. You could be younger than them. I don't see a huge age gap. For some, it may be. But for some, it just may be a few years. But the Empress shows me that the feminine in this connection, which could be you or you're calling in a divine feminine, this feminine is going to be in her power because she has transitioned herself and she is very sharp and she knows what she wants. Now, the masculine in this connection is changing direction. He is changing course. He is wanting to call in new love. He has weighed his options for some time and he now has a clear direction of what he wants because he has evolved. The Eight of Hearts is the Eight of, eight of Cups, which means he has overcome his obstacles. He has learned his lessons and he is ready to open his heart. He is ready to show the feminine that he is the master of flames. So this man could be very alluring. He could be in the public eye in some way. Granted, you both had to change your perspective for this to come in. He is very financially secure or the feminine is or you both are or one of you is getting there. But this is bringing in the Ten of Hearts, which is the Ten of Cups. A beautiful new beginning, a beautiful new relationship, a beautiful new connection. So I do hope that this energy reading for February 2024 has brought you clarity and guidance. If it did, drop a comment below to let me know. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. Make sure you have the bell notification set so you can be notified when new content is posted on my channel. If you are interested in booking with me, go to my main booking website, butterflyintuition.com. You can see my full list of services, the link to my site, as well as all the ways you can connect with me outside of YouTube, as well as going to my Wizio site, which is where I have too many readings there that you can book as well. Have a magical February. Much love to you.